Good morning everybody, it's around 9am and I'm about to go and today I'm, I have planned something really really interesting, something amazing that um, I wish to do for a long time. Actually I, w I was thinking about doing this in April in Kyoto but um, we didn't really have time and money which was like um, trying kimonos and taking photos and in, in Kyoto it would be just the dress like getting dressed professionally and then you can just walk around yourself but today so um i'm following this instagram account um i'm gonna show it to you uh, i've been following her before i even came to japan she it's this girl her name is achikochi here in instagram and um, she posts pictures of um japan and her photography skills are just a dream and um, I, I would wish to take photos like that. This is her account. So that's her name. And now she also has a kimono account since um, two months or something, I think. And here she posts the pictures of the kimono photo shoot and just like everything kimono related she's doing here so she got like a um she went into a, like a school to learn how to do kimono dressing and now she opened kind of like her own kimono um rental plus photo shoot and styling and she styles everything beforehand so you have to like send her pictures so yesterday she sent me some kimono pictures and asked me if I can choose one of these and I chose this one and then she set up also an obi for this so it's gonna look like that and I just can't wait because it's so colorful and yeah it's very like bright colors so yeah I can't wait already so yeah I'm gonna go there now it's it takes very long, like it takes an hour or something, and now it's around 9:10, so I should be there around 10, I, th I hope. And yeah, I'm gonna get going before it's too late. So, see you. See you later when I'm maybe dressed in a kimono. <laughs> Bye. This is my kimono. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, wow. The one on top, and the one under. <laughs> this is a denim kimono. Yeah, so. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has a very bold pattern. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah. I'm really glad you like it because I didn't have a chance to dress anyone in it yet. So oh. I think it's good for you. So um, I think, so this fabric, I mean, it's silk, right? Mm -hmm. It's vintage silk. It probably used to be white, but because it's old, it's kind of, I don't know. like. But it looks beige, vintage. Creamy one. But it looks mm -hmm. good. It's mm -hmm. not, because too white... It's like too shiny white. I mm. yeah, I don't like it so much. If oh, it's okay. too shiny white. Oh, I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's like really good. I like the I don't know the color combination as well. Nice. Yeah, yeah I love it. <laughs> I mm. saw it. I'm like, okay, it's mm. it's definitely this one. <laughs> Something like this and the blue algae. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is a casual kimono. Very casual. Casual kimono is called common. Common kimono. Common. Okay. Like small. Pattern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Small, small pattern. So you see a lot of small patterns. This is very casual, just for everyday kind of wear. Oh. These pretty... are all your kimono? <gasps> yeah, well, kimonos I use for dressing, but I also wear them myself sometimes. <gasps> some of them, because some of them are big size, big yeah. size for tall people.
Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> really beautiful area. Close to Hibiya stage, uh, Hibiya Park, and I finished the kimono shooting with Stasia. It was so much fun. It was such an amazing experience. I can only recommend you to do it. And I'm gonna look at some fall leaves in the park. But where's the park? I don't know. <laughs> it should be here, I thought, but it's not. So I'm gonna go there and admire the beautiful nature. But first, I have to eat something. I'm super hungry. There should be something to eat here, I guess. God, look at that line! What the hell? It's not even lunchtime. This looks yummy. Ichni san? san, it's called. So I guess. Ichni san. One, two, three. So you get like three things. It's so cheap! I want this. This is what I wanted. <gasps> they have soba. Oh, oh my god, I love Japanese food. I'm really craving Japanese food right now. park is probably incredible during autumn and it's way better than Yoyogi Park, I swear. Wow. listening to him. His voice is only attracted birds. <laughs> Selection, not like the one in Shinagawa. So I got a red velvet cake. I came home. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's like six, and I'm actually really full from lunch. I mean, it was a kind of like a late lunch. It was like around two when I had it, and, I, and then just now I had like cake and coffee and stuff. So I'm still really full. 
I can't even think about eating anything right now. I don't think I'll have dinner. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it. I'm so full from lunch. And yeah, today was a very special day, I think. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you come to Tokyo and if you're gonna travel around Japan, um, I would not recommend you to do the kimono thing in Kyoto or Asakusa. I mean, you could. Um, if you really, really want to, you could do it. But if you really want to have um, quality kimono with like, you know, that's not polyester or anything cheap like that, uh, I would really recommend you to um, book, if, if it's possible, of course, if she has empty dates, but I would really recommend you to book a... Um, Kimono shooting with Stasia from Achikochi. I will link her profile, her Instagram profile below. Um, maybe she will also do uh, a website or something soon. She is still working on it. She wants to do it full time. Um, right now, she's only doing it like one or two days a week, I think. Uh, but she said she wants to do it full time. So um, I'm, yeah. I thought that that was such a great experience. Um, it's also very um, authentic, I would say. Like she, she does it herself, and she learned it herself, and she does everything herself. She does the styling herself. She dresses you up. She gives you information, and she takes you around her neighborhood and takes photos, and she edits the photos as well, and then she gives everything to you, um, and all of that for six thousand yen. That's really good. In kimono, you usually get like only dress up and hair and makeup for I think 10,000. If you only want to have the kimono rental, it's 5,000 yen. Um, of course, that's like for the whole day you can rent it, but nobody will take pictures of you, so you have to organize everything yourself. And if you check out her account, I will link both accounts. She has like a personal account and a kimono account. I first found her through her personal account, Achikochi. And um, uh, when I saw her pictures, it was before I even came to Japan, um, I was like, wow, they just have this certain atmosphere about it. And I just love it. And it's such an inspiration. And Stasia herself is such an inspiration. Um, and she's so passionate about it. You could see it like when she was taking the pictures and she was, and the picture was so good. She was so like happy and um, excited about it. <laughs> it made me happy too because that's also how I feel sometimes. If I, if I take a really amazing shot of something, then I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> and she was like that too, just like 10 times stronger. And it made me feel happy too because yeah, I mean, she's taking photos of me right so it means that um, I'm doing things right and it looks everything look, looks good <sighs> I'm talking too much <laughs> anyway that was my day today and I just wanted to tell you that I totally recommend it and 100% I recommend which like to to do this it's not the touristy thing but you get the real authentic Japan um, real authentic to Tokyo I want to say in like a small neighborhood, no touristy spots. If you're really into that, I recommend it to you. If you think, if you really want to do the touristy things, go ahead and do it. Everybody has different um, preferences, but everybody does the touristy thing. Uh, everybody does the touristy things. So yeah, if you want to have something special and unique, I can totally recommend it. And the um, kimono. They're like traditionally, like traditionally Japanese um, style, and um, they are silk usually. And yeah, it's just such an amazing experience to wear something like that. I just wanted to say, I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe I will do a, a shooting like this again. I'd really love to do it in spring with the sakura. I don't know if it will work. I really hope that would be really nice. And yeah, until then. Let's see what will happen. I will say goodbye here, thank you for watching and see you later in another video. Bye!